but I'll go ahead. Hogwarts Legacy Gameplay Showcase number two. Not gonna watch the whole thing, obviously. 30 minutes, not gonna happen. We're go ahead and last time we gave you kind of a, an Avada Kedavra works in the game, uh, even in some So it's actually gonna show some gameplay. Um, you'll notice that like the, the meter takes up a, a lot longer to yeah, a uh, cool kind down. of build up as a way to kind of deal with its extreme power, just that it's still fun to use. And then there's some gameplay some doesn't look too bad. We talk about to, to, to adjust that. But Why do people know, always play using like uh? You, just have questions about. Well, you can tell they're using a PlayStation. <laughs> people yeah, always and play and using also, PlayStation. Before, like that sign. Well, it's like so in the community we call it the ancient magic sign. I don't know if that's how it's called. Yeah. <laughs> in the game. <laughs> so the community is astute. So uh, on the development side and in player facing in the game, we reference that as your ancient magic meter. Oh, so it is ancient magic. <laughs> that is, yeah. So as your as your abilities in the game keep growing and you become it doesn't look bad. Secrets about your own kind of mystery and your own your own abilities. Um, you start unlocking new powers. So one of those powers you'll see the R1 button appearing uh, throughout the game. Uh, that's an ancient magic throw we call it that allows you to kind of like draw an object to you and fling it at an enemy. Um, okay. But whenever you see the R1 or the L1 plus R1 appear, over some they've head, completed. Um, that's an ability to cast a, a very devastating and powerful uh, ancient magic spell. Uh, that way you can launch these devastating attacks when they're yeah. playing some potions. And so the the tools are really and that will increase um, how quickly your your cooldowns uh, regain. Right. Oh my God. There's just so much like uh, uh, versatility, like in what the character is doing to the troll right now. Like he's just bouncing around around the arena. He's like not, and the troll makes him move around too. Look like. Mm -hmm. Look pretty good. Yeah, I love that our plants are violent. <laughs> yes, and so that's like when we're talking about the almost the uh, different characters on the battlefield. That way, uh, as you get the, the, as you're cursing different characters, they all begin sharing damage, and so we have things like Avada Kedavra. All right, let's see, let's see this. Um, and and I think that's a, a good jumping off point, jumping off point, uh, <laughs> for uh, the personalization of the space as well. Not just your character and and the visuals of your character, but actually this space is a, a place that you can make your own. Um, Damn. Yeah, it was super important to us that this the space Disney really Dreamlight feel like. Um, your reflection uh, as a wizard. So you can change the architecture in here. What? Uh, <laughs> different themes throughout, uh, starkly different themes uh, to really- You can change your room. You can oh my God, what? You can make your room however you want to make your room. They're gonna go over that have, forever. Um, like, rates put on it, which I believe Alan can talk to. Oh. Yeah, um, I, we keep bringing up right. appearance and-, and Here we um, have a couple of beasts out. We have a grab horn. Going outside. And a niffler. <laughs> Uh, and a nasal as well, so oh uh, quite god. a variety. <laughs> oh my god, he's just like a big puppy. <laughs> they're I so love their cuddling. <laughs> oh my god, they're together. Oh, that's so cute. They are adorable, and so part of beast care uh, is you can interact with them as well, but feeding them too. And so once you do those things, that's when they feel safe enough that they can they'll give you their their magical ingredients. So mooncalf fur, um, niffler fur, etc., uh, that can then be used in your in your gear. That is like so like intuitive because like you know that makes sense because when you touch the animals you got some fur mm -hmm. leftovers that's so oh my god yeah and we really want to hammer home the fact that this is like a home that you're making for them so in the overland you can find these beast dens uh, and rescue these beasts part of doing so is crushing them and f you'll see here yeah so you can um there's a bunch of toys in it uh, and each beast has their own favorite toy so as you can imagine the moon calf really likes the moon ball uh, or the needle <laughs> is like a little cat really likes to chase the yarn ball as well. right where's the where is <laughs> the moon cute. calf what are you doing oh my play God. with the ball watching them it's so cute. yes it's so freaking cute <laughs> And the big thing we really wanted to hammer play with home, the ball uh, is that the world is a dangerous place and so by great uh, but there's other ones say like a swamp that you might encounter in those different environments like the different combat and conflict Copy. They're more. They're so you more, can just customize. So There's a lot of customization. There's just so much to this world. In. You know, whether it's a vendor or different puzzles and challenges or different secrets that exist in capacity, there are puzzles left behind by old wizards. You know that you can solve that actually. Well, well, we've because we didn't watch this already, part. but there is something that we haven't done so far, and that is uh, getting. We flew on a, on a broom. Down. 
kind of closer to the ground. And as you raise into the air, you'll notice the meter drop. And so those upgrades will allow you to increase that distance from the ground. And the, the broom owner at, at the sporting goods store in, in That's Hawaii very cool. is trying to perfect the broom. Damn. Feeling being on it. And it's a great feeling. Managing what? You can ride on like a Pegasus, bro. And run to fly and just being able to go wherever you Damn. want. Damn. to make sure that, that, those, that each one of these things that you can interact with have, have a unique identity and a reason for being. <laughs> and oh my god, like I see like different like areas, like a swampy area. By the way, can you go to like entire map anywhere you go? Are there are regions that are like blocked from you. Yeah, as soon like... as as soon as you, there's kind of a moment where the world kind of opens up to you outside of Hogwarts as a student, and right from that moment, uh, early on in the game, you can go wherever you want. And so you might find more difficult challenges. And hey, you play as your own character. You'll see different spots as Andrew's moving around. Like you play as your own customizable character that this is like 1800s. Um, but within the school as well. So there are moments like when it reaches certain holidays or things yeah, like Yeah, like you make There's, yourself. Uh, a few items where, you know, opportunity to switch uh, to combat arenas normally that and in order to kind of like add that to their repertoire. And they can also commit to uh -huh. down. Andrew is setting up his spell, sorry, no peeking. Ah, ah, they don't want to show you. Somebody's gonna find out. We're starting off strong. Oh my god, is strong. that was that Kujio? Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah, so that. You'll, you'll yeah, so there that you go. Like that's uh, you. that's the new Harry Potter, uh, Hogwarts Legacy, showing it off. Doesn't look terrible. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not even a, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. I will admit, I don't even care that much for Harry Potter. HUD is a huge Harry Potter fan, and she is really looking forward to this game. So there it is. Hogwarts Legacy. HUD will be playing that one. Not me.